as you're rolling. So you want to go off the tail so that you don't go inside the wake. You don't want to ollie to the inside. Hey, what's up, y'all? Sean Murray here, and today we're going to continue in the series called Filling in the Blank. What that means is there's so many different places to have fun on a wakeboard besides just getting in the air. Most people, as soon as they get up on a board, they think, I got to jump the wake. So they go and they try to just jump the wake, and then they taxi back. If you haven't seen it yet, I did another video on how to ollie, and that teaches you how to go out and do an ollie like this. Okay? The next step, what we're going to do is we're gonna learn how to take that ollie into what's called a re-entry air. So first, make sure that you have a pretty good ollie, and we're gonna start doing that right here. The speed right now, I think, is probably about 18 miles an hour. My rope is at 50 feet. And this is a Sean Murray progression series. The high flight handle allows you an all the way to 45 feet, and learn stuff at slow speed. Because what we're doing is we are re-entering where we took off, so it is called the re-entry air. This is super fun. And it can be done uh, on either side. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do it over here on the front side of the wave. So we're gonna be cutting in toe side and then doing the air, but we're gonna learn it in a few different steps. Right now, this audio is brought to us by BB Talkin'. This is the helmet and the surf hat that I wear. You guys can go to bbtalkinusa.com and check out the Sean Murray package. And that is what I coach people with and also get content like this. And it has a ton of different applications. I use it when I snowboard, snow ski, all sorts of stuff. So first thing is learn the ollie, and then we're gonna make sure that you are surfing the wake right, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this with about three carbs. We're gonna surf out to about where these bubbles are. Out here, the, the boat is gonna be throwing some whitewash off the side here. We're gonna go in and then back out. And this rhythm is gonna be what we use to eventually put this together. So the first thing, learn to do your carving. That's gonna be the basis. Then we're gonna start doing an ollie right here. So with just one hand on the handle, that hand right in the middle, I'm gonna do an ollie just standing right here. The ollie, make sure you push on the tail, land on the tail. Then I'm gonna move a little bit closer. Do the ollie up here and then carve away. Go up towards the top, maybe about a two thirds up the way. Do the ollie and then cut away. So the key to doing this, if you want to make sure that you're going off of the flat tail as you're rolling, so you want to go off the tail so that you don't go inside the wake. You don't want to ollie to the inside. You want to start here and do an ollie as you begin to cut down. So the ollie sends you away. Do that just a few times. Get used to the ollie, cut away. Landing gently, keeping the handle still. And one of the last steps is just to add it with the carve. And learning the timing of when you do this re-entry air is the key. In fact, we can slow down a little bit. So now we're gonna add this carve. We're gonna do it on the third one. There's one, there's the second. And now we're gonna do it on this one where we ollie and then cut away. Ollie and cut away. Ollie and cut away. One of the mistakes that people make on this is they ollie and they land inside. You wanna make sure that the board is rolling on its toe side, over to the heels, and then ollie. So we're going in, rolling, ollie, and land going down. There's a few different variations of this. You can ollie 180, you can switch. Now we can actually do it over here on the heel side, and this is on your back side, and at first, you can just start with a little ollie over here and then add a little bit of a carve. A little bit more. With a 180. So the boat is turning around and right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a re-entry double up. So when the rollers cross, sorry, when the boat crosses the rollers, 
I'm gonna use one of those to do the re-entry and I'm gonna hopefully get a little extra energy to push me up into the air. There she comes, there it is, a little bit outside of it. And that's fun. This is at 50 feet, no weight in the boat, going probably around 18, mid 18 mile an hour. Well, I appreciate you guys stopping by, checking out my channel. There's a bunch of different content challenges. If you guys have any questions or comments about any of those or things you'd like to see, feel free to put those below. I always appreciate it when you guys like and share. Helps get that content out there that much more. And if you don't subscribe, maybe consider doing that. And you can hit the notification bell to know when videos are going live. No matter what you're doing, always enjoy your ride. Peace. All right, I think we're about 18 miles an hour. And is this enough speed and rope length to do stuff? You betcha. How about inverts? Can we get upside down? Sure, here's a half tab roll. This is switch. Here's a regular back roll to revert. Uh, okay, this one I gotta make sure I do right. Blind 180. Regular blind 180.